So I started this local journalism YouTube channel because I've been a professional writer for about a decade and I think I know a thing or two about Croydon, the place that I've lived for 30 years. That's why we got ChatGPT to write us a summary of election data from 1982 until... Just kidding. Today, I'm giving up all of my authorial and journalistic integrity to let ChatGPT write me a comedic journalism report about my hometown. Croydon. In a stunning turn of events that has left the rest of London scratching their heads and consulting their maps during a town hall meeting in an impressive of national pride. The new president is going to Like the good meat puppets that we are, we're going to head out into the cronks to film me reading out ChatGPT's unintentionally hilarious script, word for word, in public. Everything that you're going to see in the following video was created by the Frankensteinian culture vulture that OpenAI built. From the props, to the shot locations, to the script. This is ChatGPT's idea of a comedic video journalism report about Croydon. <laughs> it's so bad news, such a stupid script. Croydon! In a stunning turn of events that has left the rest of London scratching their heads and consulting their maps. Croydon has declared independence and formed its own micronation. It's already established its borders, conveniently marked by the Ring Road, and has set up a makeshift capital at the Whitgift Centre. The self-appointed president of Croydonia, who has previously held the position of mayor of Croydon, declared independence during a town hall meeting intended to discuss parking regulations. We've had enough of being Croydon's underappreciated appendix. From today, Croydonia stands alone. In an impressive display of national pride, residents have embraced their newfound autonomy with gusto. The national anthem, set to the tune of 90s Croydon FC chant, now blares through the speakers at East Croydon every hour. Plans for a state-of-the-art monorail connecting Box Park Croydon and Westfield Shopping Centre have also been announced, promising to revolutionise the way we shop and dine in a 500-yard radius. Croydonia's economy is off to a roaring start, with its own new currency, the Croy dollar, being pegged to the value of a Greg sausage roll. Local businesses are also thriving, with vendors selling limited edition Croydonia merchandise, including giant passports. The newly established Croydon Ministry of Foreign Affairs has promised to reach out to other micronations, including Sealand and Liberland, hoping to form a league of extraordinary micronations. There is also talk of a non-aggression pact with Bromley, which has yet to respond to Croydon's olive branch, possibly due to confusion over its legitimacy. Plans are also in the works to develop Croydonia's first space programme, ambitiously titled Croydonia to the Cosmos. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> in a bid to establish a unique cultural identity, Croydonia is also set to play host to the first International Croydon Film Festival featuring only films set in Croydon. Submissions include a gripping 45-minute documentary on the history of the Croydon tram. And an avant-garde piece entitled Concrete Dreams, which is nothing but 20 minutes of slow motion footage of the Fairfield Hall's renovations. Reaction from Croydonia's citizens has been overwhelmingly positive. Finally, we're getting the recognition we deserve. I always knew Croydon was destined for greatness. This is the best thing that's happened here since they installed that slide in Central. As Croydonia embarks on this bold new chapter, the world watches with bated breath. Will it succeed in its quest for micronation glory, or will it remain nothing but a footnote on London's rich tapestry? Only time will tell. But one thing is for certain, Croydonia's spirit is as unbreakable as its many, many, many concrete structures. Stay tuned for more updates as this story develops, and remember to set your clocks to CMT, Croydon Mean Time, which is exactly the same as Greenwich Mean Time, but with more attitude. So, that's what ChatGPT considers comedy. We also asked it if it thought this video would do well on YouTube. Somewhat self-appraisingly, yet also completely lacking in self-awareness, it said absolutely. Absolutely. Here's why your video has great potential to do well on YouTube. Ha 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 lol lmao r o for xd ha 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 lol. I mean, maybe, well, hopefully, it's right, but not in the way that it thinks. Yeah, that's a totally different philosophical teapot and probably not one for this channel. 
But what I do know is that ChatGPT won't be taking my job anytime soon. It might be very capable of filling your YouTube feed with low quality clickbait videos, but for now at least, the multi-billion dollar market for local video journalism is safe with me and friendly Geordies. Anyway, let us know what you think about ChatGPT's comedy writing ability in the comments. And thanks to our patrons for continuing to fund us making weird videos like this, but also important local journalism of the factual kind. And as always, keep watching the cronks.